Future generations. I was started from an ember. I remember the feeling. Control of another three at the wall in a bundle. It was hypnotizing now. Oh, how did it see this? Nah, season two, here we are. Just wanted to say thank you to everyone for uh, engaging with and clicking on season one. I hope that everyone got something out of them at least. But this season, season two, all right, all right, season two, we're taking it back to basics. We're going all the way back. Is this good? I'm going back to basics, the most important, important thing. We're going to be focusing on seeds. Seeds? We're going to be focusing on sunlight. Bit of sunlight. Watering. We're going to be focusing on watering. Bit of pruning. Bit of pruning. And fertilizer. And fertilizer. So those are the main things we're going to be covering in this season. Oh yeah, alright, alright, nah, I got some more, I got some more. Alright, and in this season, we're going to be stepping it up a notch. We've got a whole production crew here, we've got trucks, seven film people, ready to go. On the, nah, jokes, it's just me and it's just Anita as well on the camera. But we're stepping things up this time, let's go. Beautiful. Alright. Alright. Alright, today we're going to get into some pruning. We're going to focus on pruning roses. So we've got these two lovely roses right outside the front of my house here. We're going to prune them. The landlords asked me. Bloody landlords. Landlords, eh? Alright, so we're going to get into the pruning these roses today. These beautiful roses. You need three things to get started on pruning, especially with roses. You need your gardening gloves to protect yourself protect your hands. You need long sleeves so that you protect yourself again from the thorns. And you also need your scissors. Uh, you can just use some um, old sharp um, scissors or uh, you can use your uh, pruning scissors. I've got this uh, rusty pair here so uh, they're only just better than your uh, average pair of scissors anyway. Get into it. I'll use that for a transition or something. Is that good? Yeah. As explained in season one, we're gonna trim back this badly. Yeah, right, I hate doing this, but let's have a look. Stress me out, as I said, we'll stress the fire out, stress me out. It's just steak and pepper standard. <laughs> By pruning it, um, so. I bloody hate pruning, eh? Because it's it's real backwards, you know? It, it feels real counterintuitive to do this. So, um, don't worry about how it makes you feel or whatever. Just kind of get into it. It's actually really, really good for your plant. Alright, so there's three, three things uh, pruning, three main things. First thing that we want to do, number one, tahi. We're going to start by pulling off all the leaves. What this actually does is it gives us a better uh, view of the skeletal structure of the rows and we can really see what we're doing. Rua. What we actually want to do next is then we want to trim off any ugly kind of branches that are looking bad, anything horizontal. Just kind of go at your own discretion at this. It's all about learning, growing with your plants, growing as they grow, and just see how you go, see how your plant reacts. And the third thing, Toru, is to actually cut and make sure you cut at 45 degree angles. All right. Let's get into it. So just before that, we've got these little flowers here. These putty putties that we remember from season one. Flower. Right! Here we have some silencias. Here we have some silencias. The Tereo word for flower is actually putty putty. I love that. Putty putty. Flower. Beautiful. See what they smell like. The Māori word for smelly, I think, is hunger. All right, let's get into it. So we're going to start by pulling off all the leaves. Let's just chuck these down there into my gardening belt. For a second, it's my pocket. This is the pocket. Yeah, well, let's get into it. We're just gonna pull all these off so we can see what we're doing. I'll probably fast forward this all up. Hate doing this to the plant. 
So this will shock your plant, but we are going to water it and make sure we feed it as well after we do this. Alright, that's good. Yeah! So we've got it bare now. Is it still recording? Yeah. So we've got it reco uh, bare recording <laughs> now. We've got it bare now and we can really see what we're going to do. You can really see in there and see the structure and that's great that's gonna help us to really prune it back and get this guy pumping for summer all right let's get into it oh in my belt in my garden belt so remember 45 degree cuts and another thing about pruning is that if you can't if you can't tell if it's dead or not just cut into it and see if it's brown look at it See if it's brown. Like this is obviously um, dead. So I'm gonna cut there. Just look into it, see if it's brown, and that's how you know it's definitely dead. Just gonna get rid of anything that's real ugly, real funny shape. I was saying anything horizontal or entangly. Yeah, let's enjoy this part. Is it recording you? Yep. Sweet. Oh, good. Sweet. I'm gonna cut this off, but I'm gonna keep this rose, put it in the kitchen for the hat flatties to enjoy. So we're doing this in hope to really, really just give the plant new growth for summer. So some things are gonna grow to make make room for new growth. Not bad. Oh, I'll just cut these last dead bits off and happy day. Happy day. And, and we're good. Beauty. Let's leave it at that for now. I love it. So we will feed this guy out. Let's do that now, actually. We're going to feed him up. So we're going to give him some Rose Osmocot. Rose from Plant Barn. Her literally name is Rose. She told me that the best thing for roses is uh, slow release. So we go with the slow release stuff. Real, real, real bit of dirt in there, but whew, who, who cares? Oh well. And then we're also going to give it some of this stuff. This is just your all round plant food, good for everything. So we'll give it that. It's got a bit of everything, and then we'll give it a bit of both. Tell me when you're rolling. I'm rolling. Okay. Alright, so we're going to water and feed this guy now. So we're going to take about a handful of that and just scatter that around there. And that'll just slowly do its thing. Next thing, I'm going to use this all-purpose fertilizer. You get a little scooper with it, but I've lost to that. Um, Was that funny? Um, <laughs> and so, and so I'm going to just use about what I think is about two scoops in there. And then we're going to uh, use my stirrer here to just stir that all up. Probably why they're rusty, eh? So that's getting a good feed. And a good drink for our rose here that just had a bit of a shot. And now we're going to cover it back up so it looks nice and pretty for the landlord. Landlord, say, hey, beauty. Yeah, that's it, yeah. All right, so that one's done. This rose is all pruned back, trimmed up, and good to go. We've got some nice flowers off it. Like I've said, it will feel kind of intuitive to kind of cut back the plant. But honestly, it, it's so good for it. Watch, watch the space kind of vibes, you know? In a few months, just watch it blooming and watch how well it's done. Long-term goals, long-term things, you know? Right. I'll come in. Cross the legs. Ah, Billy Yoga food. Mm, namaste. Got the two beautiful roses all uh, trimmed up and pruned but just remember it's the long game it's a long game for us gardening we're going to be doing gardening for the rest of our lives growing plants loving plants and growing with plants and just becoming better gardeners and getting closer to Papa Tuanuku. So yeah, getting closer to the mother nature and that's what we're all about. We're all about getting a little bit closer to the mother nature, seeing that gardening's really simple and basic and just giving it a go. And then once you get into it, you're hooked. And then it gets super complex and you'll be into it like I am and learning as you go and growing as you go with plants. So thanks for watching. But yeah, thanks for watching and uh, enjoy your gardening. Oh, I don't watch that because...